Welcome to the Mass for Inspiration. The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by the Seat Law Offices, 53 West Foothills Drive and Drums, phone 570-359-3283, or visit us online at theseatlawoffices.com. Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home, 229 West 12th Street, Hazleton, 570-454-8341, and online at moranfuneralhome.com. By Dr. and Mrs. Victor F. Greco and the LaSant family. Save us, O Lord, our God, and gather us from the nations. To give thanks to your holy name. Make it our glory to praise you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. And prepare ourselves now to celebrate more worthily. Let us place ourselves in God's presence, acknowledge our sins, and ask for his merciful forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you give life to your people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way that leads to eternal happiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God, God in, in the highest, highest and, and on earth peace, peace to people, people of, of goodwill. goodwill. We praise, praise you, we bless you, you we adore you, you we, we glorify you, you we give, give you thanks, thanks for your, for your great, great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King O oh God, God Almighty Father, Father. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten, begotten Son, Son, Lord, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, Father. you take, take away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to all the people, saying, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen. This is exactly what you requested of the Lord your God at Horeb on the day of the assembly when you said, Let us not again hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see this great fire any more, lest we die. And the Lord said to me, This was well said. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their kin, and I will put my words into his mouth. He shall tell them all that I command him. Whoever will not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I myself will make him answer for it. But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak, or speaks in the name of other gods, he shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today, if today you hear, his, hear voice, his voice, harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If, if today, today you hear his, his voice, voice, harden not, not your, your hearts. hearts. 
Come, let us bust, bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If, if today, today you hear, hear his voice, voice harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me, they tested me, though they had me seen my works. If, if today, today you hear, hear his, his voice, voice, harden not, not your, your hearts. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I should like you to be free of anxieties. An unmarried man is anxious about things of the, of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But a married man is anxious about things of the world, how he may please his wife, and he is divided. An unmarried woman or a virgin is anxious about the things of the Lord, so that she may be holy in both body and spirit. A married woman, on the other hand, is anxious about the things of the world, how she may please her husband. I am telling you this for your own benefit, not to impose a restraint upon you, but for the sake of propriety and adherence to the Lord without distraction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath Jesus entered the synagogue and taught, the people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. Unclean spirit convulsed him with a loud cry, came out of him. And all were amazed, and they asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You remember the days when our churches were crowded? when on Sunday mornings, the Lord's Day, neighborhood streets were filled with families going to church. Not so today. Malls, stores, shops, all open for business as usual. People are forced to work. Churches are half filled, if that. And churches are even slowly, imperceptibly disappearing. More and more people are claiming they don't need organized religion because they have found God in other ways. They claim to be spiritual, not religious. They found God in their hearts and in nature. Oh, they still believe in God. But the question arises, who is this God? Is he a creation of their own minds, or a God outside of themselves who has expectations for them. Tragedy is that this way of thinking has a shred of truth in it. Yes, God has implanted in the hearts and souls of man a yearning for himself, an ingrained desire to find him. And God does reflect himself in the beauty and the splendor of the magnificent world around us. But something else, oftentimes ignored and forgotten, is the fact that God has spoken to man directly and through his chosen leaders and prophets and teachers. God has revealed himself to man through sacred scripture written by men but inspired by God himself. 
On our first reading today, we find Moses. He speaks to God's people and describes himself as a prophet of the Lord, raised up from the people to teach the people. And God wants the people to listen to him. All through the history of God's people, we find God choosing men called prophets for whom he speaks directly to his people and through whom he teaches his people. Even though the people have not always heeded the prophets, still, it's the way God himself has spoken directly to them. If we follow the word of God, called the scriptures, we find that in the fullness of time, God sent his son, the second person of the blessed Trinity, into our world and in our human flesh. And Jesus, this God-made man, like Moses and the prophets, spoke, taught, and revealed his God, God our creator, our Father, and the judge of humankind. It's the same Jesus who called 12 ordinary men to take his place after his passion, death, resurrection, and return to his Father. The same Jesus who empowered, commissioned, and commanded them to go out to the whole world, to baptize, to teach men about God our Father, and what God expects of us if we're to be truly his followers, his people, today known as members of a community called the church. The community called the church then really is relevant in our world today. In a world that's lost its understanding of God, a world that increasingly is denying God's divine authority, a world that more and more is rejecting God's plan for humankind, that refuses to conform to God's ways but it's insisting on its own freedom to do as it pleases without interference from anything or anyone, even God. It's sad that so many people act like little children who can't wait to grow up so they can be free of the guidance, the restrictions, the discipline of loving, caring parents. Only when once grown up do they begin to realize the value of their parents' love and concern. For now, they realize they must face life with its problems and tragedies completely on their own. My brothers and sisters, let us today together pray that like Peter, who when asked by Jesus if he and the other 11 wanted to leave Jesus' company, replied, Lord, to whom can we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. May all who, like children, have come to seek independence from God and his community called the church, come to realize that, like Peter, we're all children of a loving Father, called to live in this community called the church, and allow ourselves to be guided and protected by the true word of the true God, and not by a self-created God who exists only in our misguided minds. I believe in, in one, one God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all, all things, things visible, visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe, believe in one Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, God born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by, by the, the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For our, for our sake, sake he was, was crucified, crucified under Pontius, Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He suffered, suffered death and was buried. And he rose, and he rose again, again on the third, the third day, day in accordance with the scriptures. With the scriptures. He ascended, ascended into heaven, heaven and, and is seated, seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Father. He, he will come, come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with, with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Call to serve the Lord and one another. We now bring our needs and the needs of the church and the needs of the world to our Heavenly Father. That all Catholics may continue to serve the mission of the church through their prayerful support of and personal witness to its teachings, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That many young men and women may consider a vocation to serve in the ordained and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That victims of unjust bias or discrimination may be comforted by those who speak and act with kindness and acceptance, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our faith community may be a strong voice for those who cannot speak for themselves, especially the unborn and the frail elderly, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all those who have gone before us marked with, by faith may have everlasting life with God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we offer these prayers with humble hearts. Hear us, grant us your blessings. For we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings in our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and added willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, when eat, we eat this, this bread, bread and, and drink this, this cup, we proclaim, proclaim your death, death, O Lord, Lord until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, art who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this, this day, day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us share with each other now a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins, the sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. On us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. world. Grant, Grant us, us peace. peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter, should enter under, my, under roof, my roof, but, but only, only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. Oh soul, are you weary in trouble? No light in the darkness you see. There's a light for a look at the Savior. In life more abundant and free. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full in his wonderful face. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of To life everlasting, he passed and we follow him there. Over us in no more hath dominion, for more than conquerors we are. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. <laughs> Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace. Glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by The Siege Law Offices, 53 West Foothills Drive and Drums, phone 570-359-3283, or visit us online at thesiegelawoffices.com. Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home, 229 West 12th Street, Hazleton, 570-454-8341, and online at moranfuneralhome.com. By Dr. and Mrs. Victor F. Greco and the LaSant Family.